The ripoff range is a segment of the economy where consumers are defrauded of $500 up to $50,000 in a transaction. You think of it as a crime, but law enforcement more often sees it as a business dispute to be settled in civil court. One area of the economy ripe for the ripoff range is online shopping. It's replacing walk-up storefronts and curbside garage sales. And while commerce via a computer or phone screen is convenient, buying and selling without seeing who you're doing business with is making it easier for con artists to take advantage. Kim Crawford is a small business owner in California. Like many entrepreneurs, a computer and a smartphone are her primary connections to customers. We sell most of our products on eBay, but then we sell also some on Craigslist. One of those products is this club chair. Someone was interested in it and they sent me a text. And right off the bat, it just seemed a little bit fishy because I said, um, is it possible that we can talk in person? And he, the person didn't want to do that. Instead, the buyer said he would FedEx a certified cashier's check for the item. The chair was supposed to be $800. He sent me a cashier's check for $2,400. So I sent a text back saying, is this the correct amount? And he said, give the mover $1,600. He's going to be also moving some of my daughter's stuff. And then the buyer texted her specific instructions on how to deposit the check. My bank advises you deposit the check and not cash it. But instead of depositing it, Kim brought it to her bank to see if it was legit. They knew immediately it was a scam. Later, here are the methods scammers use to trick you into cashing a counterfeit check. These are big organized business enterprises that are organized on a worldwide scale. 